I thought to myself, do I need more mugs? No. Am I still gonna buy them? Yes. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name's Casey. And today we have a Poundland haul, but this haul is very much focused on their Easter and their Mother's Day range, so I am super excited. I do have a few other bits and bobs to show you as well. I did come across some really good things for um, the children during this half term, or while you're homeschooling and everything like that, so I did find a few bits I thought I'd pick up to show you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we'll show you these first. So I came across this surprise bath bomb lab and this create your own perfume lab. So I just picked these two up, but they do have like slime ones and bugs and things. But I thought that was really good to keep the children occupied while they're at home a lot of the minute. So yeah, I thought I'd pick them up and show you. So let's get into the Easter bits. So first up I saw this and I thought, oh, it's super pretty. I do recall they had something like this, but I think there was gold and silver over Christmas. Um, it's a kind of same kind of speckled effect, but it does have this glittery bunny on it. But this is only kind of glued on if you can see there so I thought this would be great like after Easter we can take this bunny off if you're not too much of a bunny fan if you're a bunny fan leave it on <laughs> but um I did think we could take this off and just have this pink cologne it's really nice my bedroom is like pink and grey and things so it's gonna live in there and then I saw this adorable little thing so it is just this cute little bunny in this egg holder for like dippy eggs and things and oh look at his little face I couldn't leave him, he was adorable. So I picked him up. I, I actually do need some egg cups, so that's good for me. But I also get a cute little bunny in it too. But again, great for adult children like me, or the kids, the little eggs on there. Super cute. And then I saw these two. I thought to myself, do I need more mugs? No. Am I still gonna buy them? Yes. <laughs> so I got this little lamb here or a sheep and then this little ducky it's so cute they're adorable I have a lot of penguin mugs because I'm obsessed with penguins but now I have a sheep slash lamb or a little chicken mm, how cute are these so I have seen everybody talking about these gonks and they are truly adorable. Look at them. I know they had green and blue as well, but I thought I'll just pick up one of these each designs in yellow and pink. And I've never seen an Easter gonk before. I didn't know there was a thing, but now I do. And I'm very happy about it. So look, he's got a little button on there. He's just got a little brown top and they're just, the cutest little things ever. So I got them. Now, I can't go anywhere at the minute without picking up an egg for my husband. <laughs> if you're not new here, you'll know that my husband absolutely loves dairy milk eggs. So I picked him up this button wand. It is a Peter Rabbit one. And I just, I love the artwork from Peter Rabbit. I think it's just so nice. So you get one bag of buttons and one Easter egg in that. So my husband will be very happy. So now we'll move on to some Mother's Day things that I've got quite a lot of other things to get through as well. But I have seen these, so the teacup and saucer, these are three pounds. And I think it's so cute. You can get this in blue as well, I believe. I think there's one pink and one blue. And I love it, because I usually have um, just like tea and biscuits in bed. So I thought this will be perfect for that. It's absolutely lovely. It's given me very Alice in Wonderland vibes and I love that. So I picked this up. I think it's lovely. Is it going to be a Casey haul without candles? Surely not. <laughs> so these are the new ones. They were in the Mother's Day area. So this is a passion flower candle. I think packaging is absolutely lovely. 
So it's just a plain candle with the label on there. It smells absolutely lovely. Very floral and quite sweet, but it's really, really nice. And I just, I love the packaging. So it lives in like that, very nice. And then we have Wild Jasmine. So the same packaging, but this is just blue. A lot of the Mother's Day things are like pinks and blues and things, it seems. And there's a label on there. Again, just a plain jar candle, which I like because I reuse, I take the labels off and reuse them. Oh, this is lovely. Very strong scent of jasmine. Very sweet and actually really, really nice. So I like that. And also in the Mother's Day area are these luxury calming bath milks, relaxing spa fragrance. And I don't know if you can, if the camera's picking it up, but it's very glittery. So I'm guessing it's going to be quite a creamy, glittery bath. It has a lid on, but one of them's for me, one of them's for my mother-in-law. So I'll just open the one for me and have a smell. Oh, that's very sweet. It's nice. I can't pick up what that smell is though. I've just read the ingredients just as parfum. So I don't know, but it's very, very sweet. It's nice. And you just sprinkle into a bath filled with warm water and allow to dissolve. So yeah, I picked up one for me and one for my mother-in-law, but I think they're just, they don't look like they're from the pound shop. They're really nice. I've got our rubber bits, but I thought I'll just pick one up just to add to a present. <laughs> and then I picked up these perfumes. So I do have the Lily Petals one, which is um, a daisy dupe because I'm a, I am love Marc Jacobs Daisy. I get it every, every time that I run out of it, I rebuy it because it's one of my favourites. So I did pick up Lily Petals and it smells exactly the same. And then as this is Beau Reeve and Fleur bloom i don't know what these are dupes off if you do know let me know in the comments down below but yeah i thought i'd just pick these up because i i have my expensive perfumes that i like to save for like meetings or going out somewhere really nice but i do like just to get dupes just to spray on if i'm just popping to the shops or something so i picked these two up and i'm quite happy with them for a pound each you can't really go wrong with them now I was super excited when I saw that Poundland are selling cacti. All of them were a pound, there was loads of different ones. This one's had a little bit of a problem in the bag, but I thought I'd get the fluffy boy because I really like cacti and I just really wanted the fluffy boy. So I got him and he's cute. Need to name him. If you've got any suggestions for names, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and also names for my gonks. Let me know names. <laughs> That's always a thing on this channel. I do like to name things. So if you've got names for my gonks or name for my cacti, let me know in the comments down below. Cause he is just a nice floofy boy. Looks a bit like Boris Johnson, doesn't he? Can we call him Boris? Let me know. And then I picked up some press-on nails because obviously we can't get our nails done at the minute. So I do have these press-on nails at the minute from B&M and I'm also using the glue from B&M and I have to say they stay on really, really, really well. I think I've had these on just over a week now and they're not moving, they're not budging. So I'm really impressed with the glue and the nails from B&M. They was only a pound each, but I highly recommend them. But I've got these Just Right Beauty ones. They are just kind of like a nude square. And I've got these Fern McCann ones, and these are kind of like an orangey almond shaped ones. But I'm really looking forward to trying them because I've, I've never been a stick on kind of gal, but I don't know, I'm really enjoying these, these stick on press on nails. So <laughs> I can't really do much else, so you know. Give these a go. I've heard good things about the Jess Wright ones. I haven't heard anything about the Fern McCann ones. Again, if you've used them, let me know in the comments down below how you found them. I'd, be, I'd love to know. And then this was also in the Mother's Day area. I think they just kind of bob all this stuff there to kind of buy together and then move them around. But that's fine. I'm gonna buy it. So it's the Mineral Therapy Radox Crystal Calm Himalayan Bath Salts. 100% natural Himalayan bath salts, thoughtfully blended with a relaxing scent of jasmine and hibiscus. 
I love Radox bath cells. I usually get the ones, um, they're in the blue box, if, if you know what I mean, you'll know what, if you know what I mean, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> so, I got these ones, it's quite a hefty bag, and perfect for relaxing night in, made with naturally pink crystals, blended with jasmine and hibiscus, so you just need two to three handfuls in your bath, so that'll last quite a while, unless you've got massive hands like me, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm really happy to get this and I picked these up I, I really want to share them with you so I got these Whitworth shots I got the cranberry and white chocolate I want to say in last month's Degusta box I've always looked at them and thought eh but I absolutely love them I ate them all so I've just picked up a white chocolate and cranberry one and a <laughs> Coffee and macadamia nut, I want to say. I, if I'm chatting poo, I'll put a picture in of which ones I've got. But I picked up these fruity biscuit ones. So they're 93 calories. So I have them with like a banana and things on my breakfast and they're just really, really nice. And I also saw these ones. So these are raisin and chocolate. I'm just a massive fan of these ones <laughs> and the toffee ones and the other ones I've got. They're all amazing. But I just wanted to share them with you because like, if anyone else likes stuff like these and haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. And then last but not least, I just got some Snacker Jacks and these are the Kicking Sweet Chili flavour and these are 91 calories a pack as well. I've never really been a Snacker Jack kind of gal. I think because I had the cheesy ones and I was like, they are the horriblest things I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> and I just hated them, so I've never tried any one of this. And I've always seen the salt and vinegar ones, I can't stand salt and vinegar. Blech. Jack loves salt and vinegar, and he has like the discos that literally take off the inner layers of your mouth. Blech. So, <laughs> I saw these ones, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give them another go. So here yeah, I got these, and they're a new recipe, so great taste guaranteed. So we'll see about that one. But that is everything that I got in this haul. I'm really happy with everything. I think, again, Poundland have brought it out the bag. They have. And I just, I don't know, I'm so impressed with everything they're bringing out lately is just really, really good. Them gogs. Look at how cute that is. You know, and a pound. And the mugs and everything. Because I know they had a penguin one over Christmas that I've got downstairs and I use it all the time. But yeah, I'm just really impressed with everything that they've got. Let me know in the comments down below, again, or what you want to call the gongs and if I should call the cactus Boris. <laughs> let me know but if you did enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up it really does support my channel and if you are new here and would like to see more from me then please do subscribe it really truly means the world to me but apart from that I will see you in the next one bye